Hello, I'm Timothy Perfect from Two Canoes Software, and I want to show you a project that I'm working on that I thought was kind of interesting to be able to Bluetooth enable from an iPhone um, a serial connection to a device that only supports serial. So, um, as an, the example that we're using today, let me switch over and show you kind of my uh, development environment or my the device here. So what I have here is this is a, a an Adafruit uh, BLE feather. It's a Bluetooth enabled feather. And then underneath it is the device I'm talking about. This is the microchip um, uh, SEC 1210 board that you can only communicate to, uh, to it over serial, over UART. And you can see that the these two wires that come out, one that goes to transmit and receive, that's the serial connection that talks to this reader. And so we aren't able to connect up to our iPhone because your iPhone doesn't have a serial connection. Um, it could be USB, but it's not, there's actually, you can't do USB serial um, and get something accepted in the app store. So uh, basically we want to enable it with Bluetooth. So what's nice about this um, BLE Feather, it has the NR51 Nordic Semiconductor chip on it, which is uh, a Bluetooth enabled ARM processor. And it, uh, since it's Nordic Semiconductor and Adafruit has done a bunch of work to do what's called a BLE UART service. And that, it sounds like it helps connect up to a UART device, but that's not at all. What it allows you to do is use a serial connection over Bluetooth, right? So what we have here is um, where we want to communicate, we have an iPhone, which I have right here, say my iPhone, and I have an app on it that's going to connect over Bluetooth. Then it has to send uh, bytes back and forth, and it has to use a protocol. So what it uses is the BLE UART protocol, which is just a str serial stream of bytes over, which works really well because that's the same stream of bytes we need to talk to from this uh, microcontroller here to this uh, card reader. So it basically just has a shim that takes the bytes that come over Bluetooth over this BLE UART and then writes them out to the uh, UART port, which is these two wires. And then when it gets a response back, they'll come back over these two wires. It gets it into the NR51 or this feather, it sends them back over Bluetooth to the uh, iOS device. So to give it a better idea of what how that all works, let me look at the, the laptop screen. And so um, I have the... Uh, the, they have a sample project from Adafruit called BLE UART, um, which is just that serial connection over Bluetooth from the iPhone to their Feather, right? And then what I need to do is take that and put it over the uh, UART connection to the uh, to my my board here. And so there's actually I'm using three different serial port connections. The first one is the um, the first one is serial, which is the, let me switch back over. This is serial. Um, and that's basically the um, serial port that allows me to do debug logging that goes to the laptop. Then there's serial one, which is these two wires UART, right? And then there's BLE UART, which is another serial port, but it goes over Bluetooth. And you'll see that in the code. So here you can see in the, in, if you know, if you've done any Arduino programming, you know there's a main loop that, that loops around. And what we do is we listen for uh, BLE UART. If there's any data available coming over Bluetooth, then it takes it and it writes it to serial one. If you remember what I was saying before, serial one is the UART pins right here. UART pins here. These two orange, or yeah, these two orange wires that goes, oh no, it's a brown wire and the one of these red wires, transmit and receive. That's serial one. And so when that, uh, so when it gets information from Bluetooth over BLE UART, it just takes those same bytes and writes them out over serial. And then conversely, if there is serial one available, and again, serial one is the UART from the board, from the uh, uh, smart card board, it will write those back uh, it'll read them and then it will write them back to BLE. So it basically writes it and returns it back. But the cool thing is we can actually write to serial, which is not serial one, not BLE UART, which is our debug port, which is here. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, where is it? Uh, yeah, print buffer. So what it does is it prints 
uh, let me go to that function here. It does it to serial, it prints out that data that it's getting across. So if you can imagine what's happening, what's happening here is that we're gonna have their iOS device that's going to connect over Bluetooth, a BLE, and pair. Then it's gonna establish um, a serial connection using BLE UART, send a bunch of data over. That data will then be printed out the serial port so we can read it on the screen. And it'll also be sent to the smart card reader over UART, which is those receive and transmit pins. Then it'll get the response back. It'll then send them back over um, the uh, uh, UART back to the NR51 processor, then send it back to Bluetooth and bring it out back to the iPhone. Um, and what's the nice thing is we can actually view that. So we can see, if we go back to my laptop screen and we, I have this program called Serial. It's a great Mac OS app that allows you to look at the serial connection. And whenever a smart card is, oh, let me switch to the multiple views. Whenever I have the smart card removed or plugged in, you can see it gives a, a 5002 when it's removed and a 5003 when it's inserted. So what we're seeing on the here on the screen here is not the Bluetooth, um, anything with Bluetooth. This is just the uh, UART coming over to the, um, the Feather and printing it out. It should be sending it over uh, Bluetooth, but we haven't connected up yet. So let me go ahead and connect up. So I have my app here and I will, you can see that the flashing red light means it's not paired. So I'll do add Bluetooth and you can see it says circuit playground and I'll select that. And then you can see the red light turns solid. And what ha what's happening is it's reading the certificate from these smart cards and it's, uh, it's sending the command from the phone to the NR51 then it's sent over uh, over Bluetooth, these BLE UART, then it's sending it to the smart card reader, gets the information back, then sends it back over Bluetooth, all with this serial connection. And we have like a T, we have like a T where it shows it in the output. So we can actually see the commands as they go across, which is a great way to be able to kind of debug the, the uh, information as it comes across. Um, so there's basically three connections, three serial connections. One is from your phone, over Bluetooth to the NR51, which is Bluetooth enabling something that only has serial. Then the NR51 processor has two pins for UART that goes to whatever you're enabling for serial. And then it gets a response back and sends it over Bluetooth. And since we're, we're shunting that information back between them, we can actually print it out to the USB serial port as well so we can see the logging. So I'm gonna write this all up, and this is the video that's associated with the article, but I wanted to share kind of, kind of a demo to how it works, because it's really kind of neat to be able to uh, Bluetooth enable something that's just, uh, that doesn't have, know about Bluetooth, but does have a old school UART connection. It's a very common way to do it. So if you have a device that just talks serial, you can then Bluetooth enable it. And that's so common that Nordic Semiconductor and Adafruit have made uh, kind of standard services to do um, BLE UART um, because it's a common way to do the serial connection and it makes it easy way to shunt off to or be able to put that gap into um, devices that just support UART. So thanks very much for watching. Please visit us, visit us at twocanoes.com um, and be able to uh, make sure you subscribe or make comments on this video um, and uh, um, let me know what you think. Thanks very much for watching.